Hello mga ka-PH and S. Phoenix and Scots Monty Williams, believe kay 18 years old kay Soto. Sa segment ng Republica Playback ni Zeno Ropino ng NBA Philippines Facebook page, ipinakita ni Zeno kay San Scots Monty Williams ang isang uploaded throwback video ni kay Soto. Para hingan ng reaksyon ng kasalukuyang ngayong coach ng Phoenix Suns. Sa ilang minuto pa lang ng throwback video ni Kai Soto ay humanga na ito kay Kai Soto. Gustong gusto daw niya ang type of place ni Soto. Sa opinsa man o depensa, ang pinaka nagustuhan ni Williams ang ball fake, footwork at patience ni Soto. Kaya mga ka-PH and S, narito ang video galing sa English Philippines. Today, we're going to be checking out some game footage of incoming G League Ignite Center, Kai Soto. I like the fact that he, he not only spins away from the defense, but he can feel the defender's body. Sometimes, as, a, as an offensive player, if you can feel their body, you can, do, you can use that to your advantage because a lot of defenders like to lean on you. But he also can see the double team coming. And, and that's something that a lot of players don't have is the awareness of the primary defender, but also the awareness of the secondary defender to get away from that aggression and get to an open spot. And then that flip shot is not the kind of shot that you see from a lot of bigger players. So the yeah. touch that it takes to make that kind of shot is something that you can't teach. A lot of times guys just have the ability to make those kinds of shots. Guards in the NBA use the floater. I, I would liken that to somewhat of a floater, just in a different uh, execution. Kai uses a bit of a hesitation and pump fake all in one. So you see that left foot, we call that kicking the door down. When he makes his move, you can see that left foot lift up into the air and he takes a big step. And then with that big step, there's a bit of a pump fake and that freezes the defense. And a lot of times when you can freeze the defense, they either foul you or they go by you. And so he uses the hesitation and the pump fake to step through and create more space so he can get to the basket. And again, you know, Kai does a really good job of feeling where the defense is. If you watch the initial move, his left arm goes up, but his left hip is making contact with the defender. And if you can feel the defender in the post, you can get a read on how he's guarding you. So before he even lifts up his foot to kick the door down, he can feel the defender's uh, presence and positioning. And from there, he just uses his skill and footwork. And that hesitation pump fake allows for him to get to the basket. That particular crossover is a bit different. You know, more guys like Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, these bigger forwards are using that crossover. Back in the day, you had to cross over under your knee. But if you watch Kai, he, he crosses over over his hip. And a lot of the bigger guys tend to do that so they can get by the defense faster. And by doing that, if you look at his left shoulder, his crossover creates that room for his left shoulder to get through. And once you get your left shoulder through, sometimes past the defender, it's hard for the defender to recover. You can see number 71, he's trying to contest that shot, but it's because Kai got his left shoulder through right there after that first dribble, it allows for him to get to the basket and get to that floater. And again, you know, it, it just seems like, especially from these clips, you know, Kai has that ability to make these kinds of shots, whether it be a floater off the post or a floater off of a crossover. Those are the kinds of shots that you work on by yourself in the driveway or at the park when nobody's around and it looks like it's paying off for him. Well, anytime you face the basket, it allows for you to see where the defense is coming from. I always tell big guys when they get to that position, face up and take a picture of the defense. Well, not only does Kai take a, a picture of the defense, he uses the ball fake and that ball fake allows for the or makes the defender look for a quick second to his left and Kai shoots the ball over top. And one of the reasons why he looked is in today's basketball economy, there's so many cutters on the backside. 
And so the defender probably thought Kai was throwing it to a cutter to the basket. Mm -hmm. Kai used it to his advantage. But I like the footwork. Not only does he face up, you can look at his left foot. He takes like two or three baby steps to get to his position. Yeah. And, and we call that testing the water. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. you take that baby step to see if the defense is going to react. Sometimes the defender may open up. Sometimes he'll stay still. If he stays still, you can go right by him. And so if you look at his left foot, he takes like three or four steps, like bop, 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 bop. And a lot of times that can throw a defender off and you can get a gauge on how he's going to guard you. So there's a number of things here. You know, the ball fake, the footwork, uh, the patience, and the ability to take a picture of the defense to see where the double team may come from, to see if it's crowded in the paint. Um, that's, that's savvy. That's a lot of savvy for a young player. Pick and roll, you know, you're going to see 50 of these in an NBA game. And, and this is the new age pick and roll as I see it. You know, back when I came into the NBA, you had to make contact when you set a screen. And now so many bigs are taught that if they get that primary uh, ball defender to chase over top of the screen, their job is done. And so this is, yeah. this is what I would call a slip out of the okay. screen. It's a pick yeah. and roll with a pretty dynamic slip. And then the footwork out of it, you know, he opens up to the ball, his op the ability to open up quickly so he can see what's happening. And it's so important to do that because if, if the ball handler gets trapped, you can see it. You know, if, if he slips out of this without seeing it and the ball handler gets trapped, he can't be an option to, to catch the ball. And then the ability to catch it in traffic um, is something that I don't take for granted. You yeah. know? So now just sprinting into a screen catching the ball and then finishing without bringing the ball back down or dribbling the ball. That's something that um, takes a lot of reps, um, certainly a, a lot of experience. And then the angle to go down the lane. A lot of guys take that wide angle yeah. and it allows for the weak side defender to take a charge of them. But if you can judge how the defense is playing, if you look at Kai's angle, he takes more of a direct line to the basket and he doesn't banana hook towards the weak side defense. That, that puts the weak side defender in a tough spot. And now that guy who's guarding the offensive shooter in the corner, he's got to make a decision. Am I going to take Kai or am I going to stay with the three-point shooter? And all of that is set up because of Kai's ability to dive straight to the basket and that banana hook out towards the defense. You know, looking at his shot, it looks like a, a free-flowing shot. You know, it's it's all one motion. There's no hiccup in the shot at all. Decent knee bend in the shot. You know, one of the things that Kai looks like he has really good hand-eye coordination, mm -hmm. and it, there's good rhythm in his shot. And then he gets right back to the same position. You know, some guys shoot with their feet you know, parallel, he's, his left foot is in front of his right foot. It seems to be something that he's worked on. And uh, his shot just has like a flow to it. it, it there's no stiffness in that shot. It's a, a bit of a one piece shot. And so I think that's something that, again, he may have been taught that, but some guys just have a feel for their own shot. And he's, you know, some guys jump straight up and straight down. Kai jumped forward. And so that's something that he's probably just gotten used to over time. And he looks like he has a pretty good stroke. When I look at his right hand, his guide hand, it looks like it's pretty flat and straight to guide the ball to the basket. And all of his shots look the same. He's got good follow through with his left hand. And he just seems to be a good rhythm shooter. And so that's something that you can't be a good rhythm shooter if you don't get up a ton of shots. <laughs>